Katia v5, applying thickness. So as you can see over here, I have a subdivision surface created and I'm currently within the digital mockup optimizer workbench. The feature will be called thickness. And as you can see, this will be the default thickness from Katia. I can select in this case the product or I can select only directly the part within that product and I can apply the offset directly to those. But as we can see within the preview, in this case we're going to have 10 millimeter on the first direction and 10 to the second one. You can also change that and we're going to see how that preview mesh will look with that thickness. Keep in mind that if you're going to apply thickness like this, when we are going to save this as either a CGR, CATIA model, WRL or STL file, those will be polygonal meshes. If I will cancel that and I will leave the mouse to sit over the thickness, if we're going to take a look at the bottom right corner, we're going to see that this thickness can be applied directly by typing in the command. So this will be thickness. But if I will go over here within part design, we're going to have thick surface over here. So this is the same feature, but this will actually work with part design and we're going to obtain a solid body. So this will not be a mesh generated. We're going to see that the quick command in this case will be thick surface. And the functionality will be the same. The main difference is that over here within the tick surface definition, we can only specify the offset distance, but we cannot specify exactly. So we can also add the object to offset. In this case, this will be a subdivision. But the main difference is that I cannot select a part or directly a product like we had within um, the previous feature. So again, if I will go with 10 and 2, just like within the previous example, this will be added. But the main difference is that this will also be created without adding a mesh. So if I will go over here to wireframe, the mesh will look like this. If I will click OK, we're going to have that offset. And we're going to have it positioned over here as that um, original subdivision line. And afterwards, we're going to have the final offset surface for that tick surface. If I'm going to delete that and I will jump over here to JT shape design, we're going to have the same feature over here. If I will just move my mouse on top of that. We're going to see that this will be tick surface or the same naming. The only difference is, is that if I will click on this over here and I will start this from JT shape design, we see the functionality will be exactly the same over here. Again, I can select the mesh. But the only difference is that the resulting color for that um, surface will be different than the original uh, part body that we had previously. So if I will click OK, we're going to see that now underneath an order geometrical set, we're going to have that tick surface to defined. And this will work just the same as previously. So this will not make um, a polygonal mesh. We are still going to maintain that parametric model over here. So now if I will jump back to product one, keep in mind that over here within digital mockup optimizer, we can apply that thickness. So in this case, even though I apply it over here as a feature, as a thick surface, I can select either the part or in this case, the whole product, since this part is a child for, uh, for the product one. And again, I can add an additional di distance, for example, 10 millimeters. If I will hit preview, this will be the, the resulting model. So I can hit save over here and I can save this um, as the four file formats present over here. But keep in mind that all of those will no longer maintain the, um, let's say the parametric history. They will all be meshes. In this case, if I will save this on the desktop as a product thickness. If I will open that. Okay, so let me open that existing file. This will be product thickness. I will double click on that. Okay, so this will be the product, the thickness model. As we can see, the main difference is that if I go with a wireframe, this has been converted to a mesh, a mesh defined by triangles. 
And if I will go back to the product, you're going to see this was the original part where we added the tick surface as a feature over here. Okay, so this was regarding thickness. I hope that you find this video useful. I'll position a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.